And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Hit Podcast. Regular edition is Money Monday. Today we're going to be talking about business credit cards. Guys, we got a lot to share with you. Let's get into it. Let's go. What's up, right. guys? Welcome to Fresh Hit Podcast, man. It is Monday, aka Money Monday, guys. Um, we uh, we had a good weekend. Um, we we streamed Overwatch yesterday for six hours God plus. Damn, man, six actually, hours. yeah. Um, it was fun. If you missed out on that, sorry to say, it, it was yeah. a lot of fun. I did the Fed reacts. We did Bonnie and Clyde, mm-hmm. and then um, I'm gonna re-upload it to YouTube. By the way, guys, it's on Rumble right now. The episode that we did with Bonnie and Clyde, but we're re-uploading it right now to YouTube. We gotta do an edit first. Yeah, but uh, we gotta edit some stuff. But yeah, it, we're gonna re-upload it back to YouTube for you guys. Um, and then after that, I I went to the gym, and then uh, we uh, you know then we did it, went ahead and did a Overwatch. We went live at like one thirty in the morning because after I finished Fed Reacts, I was pissed off. I wanted to go hit the gym because we played one game. Me and Fresh played one game. After I finished Fed Reacts, and we lost. I was like, man, fuck this shit. So I went <laughs> to work out real quick, and then I came back, and then uh, we played again at one thirty. We won most of our games, I think. I think uh, um, we won uh, out of. Eight, we won uh, at least six or five. Yeah, we lost like three yeah. games. Three, 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 three yeah, two, yeah, yeah, something like that. Um, but <laughs> it was fun though. But we didn't rank up though, so it, it doesn't matter, man. You know, the, Dude, the rank, ranking, ranking system is, is so retarded, hard, bro. bro. You, can have, Stupid. you can be the best player in the world, but if your team sucks, bro, you lose. You can't it's... do nothing, man. You can't do nothing. Oh right? man. But anyway, yeah, we're playing that. That was a good time. They're they're gonna make a league for it. Soon. We should play. Well, yeah, anybody can enter. We can make a team and just enter in. We'll we, get stopped, we need, to, we we need to talk to players though. Good players. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could go make a league. And, uh, sorry, make a team and just go in there with the new uh, league that they got. Let's go. Fresh and Fit Pro Gamers. <laughs> we should make a call. We'll, get, we'll get banned. No, you will get us banned. Uh, bro, you, you gonna get maybe. banned. We're going to get banned at the registration, yo, yeah. bro. <laughs> Myron Unleash, Captain Teabag. Yo, it's a wrap, bro. Well, yeah, I mean, we that's there's put it this way, guys. There's a reason why we stream that on Rumble and we don't stream it on YouTube, bro. Holy, I can't. Yeah, we, we would be banned within a day if we, you guys saw those streams oh on YouTube, bro. Like, oh, Twitch. Bro. They're gonna be like, "Excuse me, sir, what is your uh, screen?" Name? Oh, I'm a uh, Captain T. <laughs> Wait, what? Yo, <laughs> uh, what? Uh, you? Oh, uh, no, no, nah. because uh, uh, we got to make a whole. Because we can't use stream elements for it either, or stream elements, whatever the fuck. We got to use a whole other thing. It's gonna be called a uh, real nigga gaming. So uh, <laughs> so check it out. That's because we're bringing toxic gaming back, guys. We're bringing it back. We're bringing it back to 2004 or 2005 where you can go in that lobby and talk shit and say what you got to say and roast people for having nerdy ass voices and being losers. We're doing that shit now, man. So uh, yeah, real nigga gaming is here. I think for the first time people play games that have never been called out, <laughs> and Myron will call you out. You suck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, like wait, the only what? person that does it, they'd yeah. be like shocked too. Like they'll, they'll be shocked, like what the hell is going on here, man? It's like and people then they don't get mad talk. and throw the game. Like bro, people oh, don't you try- make fun of me. I'm gonna throw the game. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm gonna stand still now. <laughs> yeah, bro. Nobody, uh, nobody trash talks anymore. Like when I trash talk, people look at me like I'm crazy. But I'm like, yeah, man, we got to trash See, talk. I'm focused on winning the game. So I don't want to talk to nobody. I'd be in the match too, like <laughs> the match chat, like y'all oh. niggas trash. <laughs> Yo, you can hear from the other I side know. of the match. Because you can't know. talk to the other team, but you can put in the chat. So I'll tell them you guys suck. And then certain words are banned. So instead of like, you know, saying pussies, I got to spell it with like a bunch of O's instead of a, a U. <laughs> or if I want to use the, the F word, if you guys know what I'm talking about, bundle of sticks, I got to go with a PH. And then A A A A A G O T S, you know, <sighs> shit like that. So. Uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> got to be a creative conversation. <laughs> they, they, uh, and then they voice banned me for two weeks. And you got it back. I don't know how. Allegedly. allegedly I don't know how. Allegedly. But, uh, but, uh, allegedly. It must have been my good, my good endorsements. You know? Yeah, but you know, sometimes I sign in and it says your account is silenced. Then I like re-sign back in and then I could talk. I'm like, oh, shit is lit. Oh, my God. So, uh, Whatever works, man. Yeah. Anyhow. Anyhow bro, you just gave right. him the drop. My <laughs> uh, once again, today's sponsor is Rumble. Type into Rumble.com. Yeah, Rumble.com slash Fresh and Fit, man. That is the home base for us. Um, and as well, Twitter. Yeah, that's where we do our gaming streams too, guys. Because yeah. as y'all know, we can't we can't stream on YouTube. I'll tell you this right now: we cannot Holy stream none of our gaming stuff on YouTube. We bro. Cannot. Hell no. Cannot. Hell no. Yo, why is he still on? Yo, why is he still on nope. uh, his Twitter, bro? Bills, <laughs> what, what's going on, man? 
The world has to hear this, bro. <laughs> what? It's a clean no, episode. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. dude, check me out on Twitter. I'm shadow banned, though, man. I've been growing as much uh, the past few day, uh, week or so, man. Sorry, they, they, they shadow banned me hard. I wonder why. But here's the thing. It's crazy because a lot of my posts still get crazy engagement. I'm getting 100K reach on every, almost all my posts, man, even though they got me shadow banned to hell on Twitter. Um, but, yeah, guys, check me out over there. Unplug FedEx. I go hard in the paint. I tweet at least like three to four times a day on there. Um, and then also check out Fed Reacts, man. This is the YouTube version. We also have Fed Reacts on Rumble as well, guys. Go check it out. The Bonnie and Clyde episode is up on Rumble, but it is not up on YouTube because the YouTube Copyright. is lame and they fucking took it down. Uh, but they, but um, it's going to be back up. We're going to re-upload it back for you guys. We're going to just have to um, edit real quick the Rumble chat at the top because they go crazy in the Rumble chat, and we'll put it back on YouTube for y'all. Um, but other than that, man, I think we're pretty much uh, good. What about you, man, your CEO network? Actually, before that, the vlog channel. So uh, we went to a car show on Saturday. It was the Cars and Coffee in Miami. As you can see right there, Lambo Raul, his age is 25 years old, has a Bugatti Chiron, carbon fiber, all over. And I got to say, at that age, own a Lamborghini, sorry, own a uh, Bugatti, I'm impressed, man. I mean, he works hard with his, with his family and the training stocks and stuff like that. But, dude, that was inspiring. So uh, that was a pretty good vlog. Go, go check it out. And listen, man, every day we get inspired by other people. But to see him at that age get one in the Bugatti was insane, guys. So anything's possible. So go check it out. And then, last but not least, if you guys want to get type into the network, add value, give value, you want success, learn from mentors, hop into the CEO network. We do Zoom calls once a week. Uh, tonight, we have Zuby coming on the uh, network as well. And then we'll do some more, some more during the week. My, Is then, he in Miami? Well, no, he's, he's, he's in Dubai, I think. So we're going to do a Zoom uh, call. A Zoom, call Zoom call? Okay. And yeah, man, type into that network. I'll see you guys in there. Yeah, Zuby's everywhere. Oh, he's, uh, he's legendary. He's like the definition of like a Super nomad. clean. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yo. Bro, he don't swear. If you want the truth, but in a nice way, hit up Zuby, man. He's that guy. Yeah. <laughs> literally, we agree on like almost everything. Uh, but yeah, he's just a cleaner version of us. Way I cleaner. think if I was more articulate, I'd be like Zuby. There you go. If I was. They're your African brother. My nigga. <laughs> uh, but yeah, today's topic is going to be the top five best credit cards for this year. Yeah. And as you guys know... We're big on credit. You know, credit's going to help you get an apartment, get a job as well, get loans that are better rates. But ultimately, business credit is different because you want to have the separate uh, personal from business. Because, again, personal credit cards are great and personal credit is good, but it goes on your, on your report. It can affect how you get other loans in that um, continuum respect. Versus business credit cards, it can show the history, but it doesn't report to your actual personal, which means you can get more leverage and more, I want to say, debt towards business versus personal. So we'll break down for you guys why business is better than personal, but we have five credit cards. And then cards also we should through. tell them how to get a business credit card from the beginning. So guys, so first yeah. you're going to need to start a business, right? So once you start your business, one of the first things you want to do is obviously incorporate it, make it an, uh, and we talked about this, by the way, watch the episode that we did LLC with, or S -Corp. With, with, uh, with Steve, our accountant. But obviously you can start it up as an LLC, but at some point within the first year, you want to switch it over to an S Corp, yes. okay? Most of the time, you're always going to want to switch over to an S Corp unless it's a real estate uh, property, and then you can keep it as LLC. That's the only time you're really going to keep it as LLC, but otherwise you almost always want to switch over to S Corp. Yep. Once you have your business established, guys, you want to up, make open up a bank account, right? Show some money in there, and then apply for a business credit card. I've noticed that Amex is the easiest to get a business credit card with, okay? Uh, but keep in mind that you're going to have to you have you, um, a lot of times you're going to have to use your personal credit in order to qualify to get the business credit. It's a guarantee. So so make sure, yeah, you're going to have to be the, like the guarantee or whatever they may say, especially if your business is new. So, so the play is, is to build up your personal credit yes. to 720 plus yes. and then apply your business once you make it LLC yes. for your business credit yeah. cards. Now, with that said, right? When you first start your business off, guys, you might not have the credit or you might not be able to get a business credit card off rip. History. It's okay. Yeah. Use your personal credit card, right, in the beginning. As a guarantee. And that's fine, right? It's a make it's a maybe to get the for, for example, when we started Fresh and Fit, right? I used my personal credit card to buy a lot of the stuff that we had, right? Then when everything was all said and done, I just separated those transactions and I showed it to my accountant. This is the stuff I bought for the businesses, etc. And then I immediately got a business credit card after the fact. Yeah. But that first year right, where you're still getting things ready, you're still creating your LLC and everything else like that, things might be a little discombobulated and, you know, it's not going to be easy to offer it to have a business account and have everything ready to go. If you could do that, that'd be awesome. But let's be honest here. Most businesses are unprofitable in the beginning. You're starting up from nothing. So you don't have all the resource a lot of the times. So you want to go ahead and 
try to obviously open up your LLC as soon as you start making some money, and then um, apply for that business credit line. You're gonna have to use your personal credit, so make sure that your personal credit is good to get that first business credit card. And then I've noticed that Amex tends to be the easiest to get a business credit card with. Capital One tends to be pretty hard. Um, and one of those cards we're going to actually talk about here in a little bit when it comes to Capital One. And here's but, a quick hack too as well. Let's yeah. say Chase, Wells Fargo, Bank of America. If you bank with them and you're a good, I want to say, user of your account, it's not negative, no overdraft. If you apply for a credit card, it is way easier because they can see the trust, they see your account. Okay, he's a good uh, customer of ours. We can we can assure that he's going to have an account with us, one. But two, he's actually a good customer. So we'll give him the card as well as more of a, like a, I want to say it's a better option for you. So I think if you have a bank account with somebody, Chase, Wells Fargo, or Bank of America, it's easier to apply for that credit card from them. Alien Popper, we're not saying showing your account at your work purchase enable you to get a credit card. That's for your tax purposes. What I am saying, though, is that before, when you, if you don't have your business credit card and you're purchasing things for the business and you use your personal credit card, you need to make sure you differentiate what you purchase for the business from your personal stuff and let your accountant know so they can deduct that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because a lot of the times, you might not have a business credit card when you start your business off, so you're going to need to make purchases for your business, right, in the interim. So what do you do? You probably have to use your personal credit card. And you can do that in the beginning. Just make sure that you do, you, you separate what you use um, – for business and what you use for for uh, for your personal stuff. So what I did was, since I had multiple personal credit cards, we started Fresh and Fit. I used my Amex for uh, I had a, I had Amex. I used that one for everything for the business. So that way I was able to easily track it. And I was like, okay, I know this. Uh, I use this card for you know Fresh and Fit slash Unplug Fitness crap, whatever. And then eventually I opened up that credit card. You know, fairly soon after that, that business credit card, then I use that for everything. And then that makes your life way easier because then at the end of the year, you just print out, you know, uh, January 1st to December 31st um, Statements. statement, uh, one big ass statement that shows all the expenditures and then you just give it to them. And then now I have it where I have one for a fresh. I have like two cards for fresh and fit. And then I got one for my real estate business. And then I just give them to my accountant based on whatever it may be. But that's where you want to get to eventually. But in the beginning, you're not going to be able to open up a business line of credit because some of y'all might not even have an LLC made yet. And, but you want to start your business, and that's fine. You can start your business without starting the LLC, and you can incorporate after the fact. But make sure that your personal credit is good because you're going to need to use your personal credit to get the business credit, guys. Good and point. then after that, then you want to start using your business credit to charge for things because you're, uh, when you use your business credit card, it's, uh, when you use your business credit, it's not going to affect your personal credit. That's the that's the main benefit, that's, guys, that's the beauty of, of it. using business credit cards is – no, they have higher limits. You're able to charge way more on them a lot of the times. And most importantly, it does not affect your personal credit to the same degree as when you use uh, a personal credit card. When you use a personal credit card and you go 30% over utilization, they're going to ding your credit pretty hard. But if you have a business credit card and you spend $100,000, it's not going to have the same uh, effect on your personal credit score because it's a business credit card. Yeah, well said. I think as well, don't forget that with business credit cards, you can also get uh, better rates, one. And you get higher limits, like you said before. Way higher limits, yeah. But uh, keep in mind, too, as well, with the business credit cards, if you don't have actual credit from before, like it's hard to get the card, like personal guarantees that we said earlier. So that's a good point. Yeah. So just just keep that in mind, guys, that um, you want to have good personal credit so that you can get your business credit, uh, credit line open, and then you can start charging uh, on your business credit card. And we got five business credit cards for you guys today that you can use um, that will help you uh, in your entrepreneurial ventures. Yeah, and, and then one more thing as well for business. If you're using credit cards for business, uh, you know, purchases, if let's say you have employees, right, that you work with on a daily. Oh, yeah. You can get the actual their own cards from yes. your actual account, which you can manage their spend, uh, sp expenditure way easier, see what they spent for the month, and then tally it up for your taxes as good, well. Good point. So yeah. I, I, I actually do this. So yeah. my, my, my real estate business, guys, um, my manager mm -hmm. has a credit card and my dad has a credit card because uh, my manager here in Florida, Roger, he runs my properties here in Miami, and then my dad is my property manager in Connecticut. So they both have an Amex Gold that I gave them both, and then they go ahead and just use it to whether they're hiring um, people to fix stuff, right? Like the other day, we had um, a pest control guy come by, or if I do something with the air conditioning or whatever it may be, because trust me, stuff is going to break down, and you don't want to sit there having to you know, constantly be the one to pay and all this other stuff. It's a pain in the ass. So always give people that you trust, right, especially in a real estate game, and I'm going to talk to you guys also about this, about how to set up your real estate with, like, how to collect rent properly, et cetera. I pretty much have my infrastructure set up now. Uh, hell, I might even bring my brother on and, and uh, have y'all, because he, he runs my online shit for me. I might even have my brother come on and we'll talk to you guys about how I, because I have, like, 50-plus tenants, how to deal with that when you it comes what? to headaches with tenants, how to de deal with collecting rent payments, how to deal with, uh, you know, b purchasing and fixing shit that goes broken or whatever. You know what? Says. 
let's do that. Bring your brother on. I'll bring my sister on. She manages my portfolio for me. Oh, okay. So both family members could tell the audience how they manage our real estate properties for us. Okay. It's pretty good. Yeah, we could do that, actually. All right. Yeah, chat. Y'all want that? Let's do that, bro. Yeah, y'all want to see my Family black ass time. brother? Yeah, he, he's uh, he's black. He's black as fresh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> my brother, man. <laughs> my sister's pretty old, so there you go. Yo, man. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. So, so yeah. I basically give them. That's yeah. a good point. So, give your employees, guys. Um, all, basically credit cards where they can go ahead and purchase things on your behalf and it all comes in one statement and you'll be able to see it yeah. so it makes life a lot easier for you so that you don't have to be the one running around way uh, easier give them the card and shit and then it's under their name so like if they go to a place and then they try to let's say they try to use your card but it doesn't have um your name on it and they'll be like oh well we're not gonna we're not gonna authorize this yeah. purchase because this could be fraud especially a lot of these retail companies now they're worried because retail fraud is one of the fastest growing crimes uh you give them a credit card with their name on it, and they can make the purchase on your behalf. So, like for in my situation, the people that run my properties, they they have credit cards, so they're able to go ahead and if shit needs to get fixed or whatever, they just get it, make it happen. Pretty so, much, yeah. But yeah, that's the intro for business credit cards. All right, we got five. We can go run through real quick, but let's do the uh, chats first, if you guys don't mind. Uh, Bill Zimmo, L. Davis Fire says, "I have a side hustle selling bread on the truck, uh, the trunk of my car on weekends. I bet my bread starting from the dough." currently making $100 profit on a single weekend. Do you know any mentor on bakery businesses? Uh, not specifically, but I guarantee if you Google it or YouTube it, but um, actually, there's one person that does it uh, that we met. I can't remember his name. He called into the show. Yeah. Uh, but it was ice cream, though. No, no, no. Not him. Somebody else that we met. I can't remember exactly, but uh, I'll look it up. A bakery business? Yeah. He, he, he does a case and stuff like that. Okay. Kidding. Uh, All right, Keem Chillin' Go CEO Network. Shout out to you, bro. Shout out to you, bro. Uh, Shout out, Keem. Uh, and then we got here, who's up next? Um, is that Juts? Jules. Jules goes, uh, started watching FNF late 22 since then, started building my credit, almost 700 for credit cards, uh, going to the gym four times a week. At WKT started my Amazon business last year on my way to first 10K sales a month, only 20, by the way. WFNF, the value is unmatched. Shout out to you, bro. That's, That's how you do it, bro. What's up, man? Oh, uh, yeah. Apparently, it's a scam. Yeah, everything. Bro, a come on, scam man. Niggas, man. But we, we if tell you, them, if hey, you don't put in the effort and try different things, bro, how would you even know for yourself? Speaking of scams, since we're scammers and we're here to scam y'all right now, Crypto <laughs> Course is open, guys. Um, it closes tonight. We would never. Uh, today's the last day yeah. for the Crypto Course, guys. We got 125 of you guys in there, man. Shout out to y'all ninjas, man. You guys are going to make some money this fucking go around because I wish you guys had went last and joined in time. September. If you guys had joined in September when we told you guys, you guys would have been able to buy Ethereum at like 1300 1400 bucks, and you guys would have been up significantly by now. But I get it. Some of y'all are like, oh, I don't believe, I don't believe. But look, man, you guys can see it here. They just made a fucking ETF for Bitcoin. It is here to stay, my friends. So get on the crypto train. And this is coming from two guys that are literally real estate dudes. We're not fucking crypto guys, right? We're fucking real estate guys. But we're telling you guys, crypto is the future, man. It's going to come out on Friday. Uh, they're going to do their first call this Friday, Miguel and Charlie. They're going to be giving very intensive uh, Zoom calls. Uh, for like 10 days, I think, or two weeks, yeah. where they're going to teach you guys everything you need to know about crypto, whether you're a beginner all the way up until advanced. They read the charts. They talk about coins that are that are, uh, that are going to go up and down. They get into really detailed stuff that a lot of times you can't get into YouTube. So um, go check them out over there, guys. I know some of y'all are like, oh, this is a scam. Okay, man, that's fine. Y'all could call it a scam, but let me tell you this. When we put the course out last September, and you guys were sitting there saying, scam, 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 <laughs> if you had purchased back then, you would, how you would have made almost double your money. So how's that a scam? You know what's crazy about this too? Crypto is up significantly. Miguel and Charlie told you guys from day one, buy two coins. Ethereum, Bitcoin. Bitcoin and, and Ethereum. Simple. That advice alone would have made you thousands of dollars. <laughs> yeah. Yo. And that was for free. Not to mention. That was for free. Free value. Now granted, you might say to yourself, that's too simple for me. I need something more advanced. But hold on, it gets better. They also mentioned other coins you could have bought back then. If you listen to them, Solana, Solana etc. Yep. I'm telling you right, right now, guys. Guys, I might not work bought those coins, and they made hella money. But again, it's no one to buy and when to sell, and that strategy comes within the course. So listen, call it whatever you want, but it does make people money. If you don't make money, it's fine. But this year, we're all making money on our team, so it's what it is. Yeah, man. So it's, it's it, and like I said, bro, you guys don't have to pay for the course. Just take the free information. But what I'm saying is, at least take the information in. I don't give a fuck if you guys buy the course. We go we got 125 guys in there. We're fine. What I'm, what I want you guys to do though is look at what the hell's yeah. going on with crypto and get in. That's all I want y'all to do. Get in. You don't got to spend a goddamn dime. Get in. Watch the last episode we did with Charlie and Yo, Miguel for free. Listen, by the way, you don't got to spend a dollar. I was one of you guys, man. I was like, crypto, I don't know, bro. 
But when I saw Mars Mars portfolio, bro, I was like, yo, nigga, put me in that shit now, bro. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. All right, cool. Who's the next chat? Uh, Ivan, thank you guys for everything that you do. Uh, because of you, went from 660 credit score to 720 as an immigrant. And those bums who born in the U.S. are crying. I got high interest car loan, uh, 20%. God damn. Should I pay it off first? Or can I start doing Amazon FBA with KT? 28. Bro, 28% oh, is high as fuck. hell, bro. Is that buy here, pay here you bought a car from? Because it seems His really high. His credit score probably sucked um, when he bought it, maybe. But, but it's higher now. What should you do? Bro, I'm not going to lie, bro. Guy. Get it. Get rid of it ASAP, bro. Because the problem is, let's see. Go Even at a loss? Yeah. I'll say this. Let's see. He goes with KT, right? With KT, he's going to make money. However, the profit margin may be lower at the beginning. So it's going to kind of neglect the actual uh, profit he's going to make. So I would just say, get rid of that first, bro. And then when you're more stable, debt free, then focus on uh, the business. Now, granted, if it's going to be higher profits than your interest rate, then maybe, you know, you want to play the numbers and see what happens. But generally, I would say pay off your debt first, then invest into the business because you're going to be at a deficit currently at this point. So Yeah, whenever you have super high interest loans like that, guys, you, you got to pay it off, bro. Yeah. Because it's going to eat you alive down the road. That's damn near a credit card uh, interest bro, rate, man. That's, that's fucking wild, bro. How'd you, nigga, why'd you, bro, guys, stop letting, yo, we need, you know what we need to do? We need to do an episode because we've been getting a lot of these questions on buying cars. Yeah. Bro, we need to do an episode on, on uh, the automobile market and how to navigate it properly Actually, in today's day and age. Actually, you said that. I have two experts coming on the show. Dealership owners okay. and car um, sellers for auctions coming when? on the show. When? when? We I need to do it ASAP, bro, because these dudes are out here getting killed. Bro, the 28%? The biggest crime, I think, is buying a brand new car. Because they don't tell you when you buy that car. The moment you drive it off the lot, you're losing at least 20 30% of that car right away. So you're going to be upside down on the car no matter what you do. Buying a brand new car, and I did it. Trust me, I know it burned me to actually pay it, pay it off. But bro, that's the only way to get rid of it or pay the difference. So it, it bro, sucks, bro. We need we need to do an episode for you guys on how to how to um. Uh, we should do it at different levels, like uh, how Beginner, to buy uh how events. to how to purchase a vehicle properly. Whether it's a uh, you said don't buy a brand new car, so I guess never buy a brand new car. Nah. But how to purchase a car, and then we give them certain uh budgets. So for someone that wants to spend no more than ten thousand, someone that wants to spend no more than twenty, someone else wants to spend. No more than five, whatever the fuck. And then we just got work our way up and give them the best practices on how to deal with this Show shit. Show too. We've had so many of you guys either call in or, you know, be in the car market, try to buy a new car, etc. cetera. And, and I'm like, bro, if you guys, if we had maybe put out an episode or something like that, we could have saved some of y'all from spending this goddamn money or getting locked into these terrible upside down high interest rate deals that you guys are getting with these cars. Yeah, Like, bro. bro, the buyer, if I'm not mistaken, right now, even though it's a shitty market, the buyer has the advantage, right? Because the market sucks. It does, it does suck. So y'all shouldn't be getting finesse like this. And the dealers need to be on your fucking time, not the other way around. And thing is, you have options, bro. If you're not giving it what you want from that dealership, go somewhere else. Simple. So, yeah, we need a whole episode on that. Yeah, we need to do an episode on, on this for the guys because the, the, this is like maybe the 50th guy I've seen within the I'll past month. Even, easily, that's even myself, talking about cars. The money I've wasted a loss on cars was immense. However, if we can stop you guys from wasting doing that too for yourself, it'd be way better because yeah, bro. For a guy, a car is going to be like his like I want to say go to thing to buy. So yeah. that could hurt you a lot. We'll, um, we'll do we'll, 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 we'll do an episode for you guys on cars, and we'll do it from fucking to Hondas Z. all the way up to if you want to get a luxury car. Yeah, how to how to properly do it? Because I think at this point, fresh, you pretty much know how to get any bro, type of car. I took too many L's to not tell you guys. Actually, you know what? Golden rule: never buy a brand new car unless. Again, an allocation for like a Lamborghini, a special, or a Ferrari, a special. But an average car, luxury car, regular, don't buy it brand new. Trust me when they say you're going to lose money, 100%. So Even for business purposes? Even business, I wouldn't do it. Damn, even buying a G-Wagon get for the tax write-off. Pre-owned or uh, off-lease. I will not buy a brand new car ever again. Unless you get an allocation where it benefits you, for example, a special Lamborghini or Ferrari. That's the only reason I'll buy a new brand new car. Okay. That, because that actual allocation is set for you. And there's not many of them on a market marketplace. So you drive the car, you can sell it for a higher amount or to break even, at least. Okay. But so, I'm assuming there's only, the, 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 that's probably like collector's item type vehicles. And you're buying it probably cash. So, I mean, honestly speaking, just buy used or pre-owned. Uh, this is better for the average person. Okay. So, yeah. All right. The, we'll, we'll do that episode for you guys, man. We got and you guys. Then, and then Fresh has more resources now, too, because he has his, uh, he, you, you literally have a car, you have a, you have a car rental actually, business. Actually, so. I'm, I'm going to drop a full-length um, video about this, but you can actually get cars that you want, rent them out, let it pay for itself, and have your dream car at the same time. 
we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it more, but that's coming in, in the near future. Okay. We got uh, y'all, man. We, we you guys are getting, yo, this is like literally, guys, this, this, it's a hundredth person I've seen get finessed by these fucking dealerships and it pisses guys, me off. this year, we're, we're moving smart, making money, and getting bitches. All in one, man. So, yeah. Keep Selling says, we got y'all, man. On GTA Online, it's a lot of trash talking. Oh, I never played GTA Online. Uh, we have here, Batfee says, what's the difference between a pirate and a privateer? Nothing but a letter of marquee and repra repraisal. If you know, you know. Does no one care about the 10th Amendment? I will start by voluntarily closing my unconstitutional borough on, sorry, and let the state do its job. What's, what's he talking about? The B-A-T-F-E? Uh, nothing but letter oh, of marquee. Oh, I think he's trying to be funny with it. He's playing on the ATF. Okay. Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Farms, and Explosives. Okay. But no one calls him that, man. <laughs> Okay. Okay. User. Uh, user goes, hey, F and F, I live in Ireland, but there are no credit cards slash here slash scores. If I was to come to the U.S. and tell a bank, hey, I want to open up a bank account slash credit card credit, but I'm a student in Ireland and don't live in the U.S.A., can I pay bills on time in Ireland, et cetera? Um, I think there are credit cards for foreign nationals that you could apply for. Um, I don't but, know uh, how it works, But though. you might have to, yeah, yeah, you might have to go ahead and start with maybe like a secured credit card or something like that. Um, Jeremy Williams goes, good evening, fellas. Shout out to you guys. I've been trying to get in contact with you. I have a trucking business called Running Scared Trucking and would love to be on the show and talk about the ups and downs of the trucking. IG is... Big things in Guan. I guess he's Jamaican. Big things San Juan. Big things in Guan. Oh, okay. I guess, I guess he's Jamaican. All right. Can you uh, look that up, um, Bill? Uh, not Bill's. Uh, Mo, please. Uh, I does about $46 worth of silver. Okay. Um, 175 Troy ounces. I use my credit card credit sign up bonus and my tax refund to reduce the bill down to 1400. Guys, buy silver. Its spot price is dipping and pre premiums are in the dirt. Uh, accumulate assets. 2024 is our year, boys. Hey, man. What's yeah, that, bro? Uh, that's a hey, bro. I tell y'all everything, man. It's uh, um, I got silver myself. I got like 200 ounces. Um, mm. you should have silver. You should have cash. You should have real estate. You should have crypto. crypto. You should have every fucking asset class, guys. Everything. Um, get some gold too if you guys want. Even though gold is a little almost too valuable. Uh, but mm. um, but yeah, precious metals are good, man. You know, I know a lot of people are like, oh, this is just what fucking boomers and doomers get. Hey, man, precious metals are good too. Um, what else do we got here? Dennis. Oh, oh, Clego Myron goes. When you guys planning on? Talking geopolitics again, and them boys with either Scott Ritter, Douglas McGregor, Jake Shields, Owen Benjamin, Ryan Dawson, etc. Um, we will have Jake Shields on. Uh, I'm gonna probably see him while I'm in Vegas, uh, but we got to figure out when he we're gonna do the pod with him. Uh, Douglas McGregor. Oh, I think. Well, I I sent him a um a thing on Twitter. See these older guys, bro. They don't manage their social media, so they don't know. Uh, I got to get a hold of him. Mm. And then Ryan Dawson, you guys know. And then Ritter. Ritter was in Russia. I think he's back now. I could hit him up. But, um, hey, guys, but anything political is going to be rumble only, bro, just to let you all know. We won't be able to do it on YouTube, man, because uh, YouTube is different. Name. Does any crypto wallet matter? Uh, Like a cold storage wallet? They mentioned Trezor. Um, Trezor is the one that they recommend. Yeah. Um, so be careful. Could you please do an episode with an expert to talk about credit and especially real estate in Australia? A to Z rules are so different. High limits can hurt you with loans. No one's as transparent as F and F. That's true. Um, these other YouTubers would never tell, show you guys what. Bro, the fuck we they need got. to go to Australia, man. Yeah, we are gonna do do Australia. Don't worry, guys. We should, um, do, we should do this trip. But I don't think we know anyone <laughs> in, in Australia. Uh, that that's Australian with real estate. Well, we could we could figure maybe it out. Maybe we could do when we go out there. Maybe we'll do an episode like that. Yeah. Uh, but we will go out to Australia, guys. Don't worry. Um, we yeah. need a panel with the girls, bro. There's some baddies over there. <laughs> They're going to be the same as here, man. No, no. Hey, man. Jay here Australia, goes, bro. What up? They're going to be the same as here, Holy, bro. Trust yeah, me. yeah, of course. But Just still. Just said that shit. Uh, what's up, fellas? Recently got my LLC, and I was wondering from you guys' experience, what is the best business credit card? And we're going to go through that list right now. I got you. Um, third eye profit goes, so I tried getting in the crypto course, couldn't figure out how to buy it with crypto messages, support email last Friday, and have nothing from them. What do I do? I don't want to miss this. Uh you got to message charlie at cultivatecrypto.com. I'll tell you this, bro. They're very busy. So um, I guarantee you a bunch of guys have probably messaged them uh, to get the crypto discount. But, bro, it's 15%. If they're not responding, bro, just fucking just go ahead and get the um, just get the course. Just sp spend the 1000 bucks, Get in there. And then you could probably iron it out with Charlie on how to uh, get that discount after the fact. They'll definitely honor a discount after. Uh, so just, um, just do that. Uh, Avenger Centennial. 
Uh, Listen, okay. man. I'm going to say, say, I'm, I'm say it right now, back. bro. I can read it. Uh, I'm going to say it right now. Okay, go ahead. Luke Belmar is a friend of mine. He's an awesome guy. Um, and he's been on you know, you know network a couple times before. We'll, we'll bring him on the pod. All right. Right? Eventually. Yeah. We, we got he's you not guys. here, right? Yeah. He don't live here, He'll right? be here soon. Okay. Yeah. Because Luke Belmar is cool. He's not. Does he even live in America? I don't know where he, that nigga lives, bro. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> but hey, he's a good yeah, guy. Yeah, I always ask, but he's never here, bro. Yeah, he's, so, he's always traveling and stuff. Yeah, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get him on. All right. So Capital stop fucking club. asking, man. God yeah. damn. All right. I'm Before photo. I watched uh, this nigga making fun of me. <laughs> Before I watched F and F, I was a tech nerd virgin making 300K, and now I'm, I'm a Miami club promoter getting late every weekend making 40K. Thanks, guys. Also, y'all should listen to this song, Domestic Violence by Pretty Whores. I think it's about Amber Heard and Johnny Depp or OJ Simpson. I think he was trying to be funny. Okay. Uh, I will continue to support the chat this uh, until it happens. Please get Andy Elliott for Money Monday. Who's Andy Elliott? I think he said that before. I can't remember what that is. I don't know who that is. Hey, Martin, I plan on buying one gram of gold a month, $100 worth. What website do you recommend me purchasing it from? Also, I know you said put oil in my protein shakes for weight gain, but how much? Um, just measure it out, bro. If, you, if you're having issues with gaining weight, just put um, a couple tablespoons of olive oil in there, and it'll help you with... Uh, artificially increasing the calories without you necessarily feeling it and getting a full ass stomach pause. Um, and then as far as uh, what was the other you at, what was the other thing he had the other question? Um, oh, gold. gold. Um, watch the episode that we did with Aaron Cleary Silver's where he talked better. about where he talked about buying um, uh, precious metals and how to g get gold. Um, but I know if I'm not mistaken because I don't buy gold. So, uh, but I know you need the. Um, God damn it. The certificate. Certificate. But proper, yeah. but honestly, guys, it's better to just ha get the gold itself versus getting like a receipt. Like, we owe you this much gold. Like Fuck that gold shit. Bar. No. Get, get the gold bar itself. Yeah, if bro. anything, yeah. Get the gold bar itself. Like, don't do the shit where they give you like a little thing saying like, I owe you. Nah, get the actual, actual hard um, asset itself. Um, but I don't have gold myself, guys. I just got silver. So um, you, you might want to uh, check back that episode where we did. I think Aaron Cleary talked about buy, how to buy gold properly, yeah. and he gave the website. Um, actually, we'll, hopefully we'll see him uh, when we're in Vegas, Vegas. that crabby bastard. So uh, we'll see where he's at, man. <laughs> Gra uh, Grandpa! Yeah, they go always angry. At the at clouds! Something. Yeah, he's yelling oh at the clouds God. all the time. So, These millennials! Uh, 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 <laughs> so. Okay. Okay. Top five credit cards for business. Uh, let's go for number one. If you okay. Don't mind. Uh, we'll count down from five to one, right? Five to one. All right, go ahead, bro. Uh, bills. First one. Five to one is going to be Blue Business Cash. I have this card. This is a fantastic card, guys. What made you get? And it's easy to get too. So this was actually the first business credit card that I got, guys. Um, fairly easy to get. American Express is pretty flexible when it comes to you know new business owners. Um, this is a charge card though, right? Which means you need to pay it in full every month. Um, but it is a fantastic card. And the reason why I like this card so much is, um, let's see what the okay when I Cash got back. it. It was 2%. Okay, yep. Okay, every yeah. Day. So it's the same thing. 2% cash back on everyday eligible business purchases, up to 50K per calendar year, automatically credit to your statement. So what that basically means, guys, is every um, you get 2% cash back on everything. So if you spend $100, you get $2 back. Now you guys are probably like, what the fuck? That's nothing. Well, if you're spending thousands of dollars for your business, bro, you're going to be getting quite a bit of money back. And get, here's the thing. It's free money that you would have got, wouldn't have, uh, you know, that you... It's free money that you're getting on purchases you were going to make regardless. Because a lot of you guys like to buy shit in cash or with a debit card like a fucking idiot. No, man. Always use credit cards that pay you back, whether it's a travel credit card or a cash credit card. I always typically recommend that when you get a credit card, guys, a beginner, your first credit card that's going to give you some kind of value back, the best one that most people are going to benefit from is a cash back credit card because you can always use cash um, or you can always you know go ahead and afford to get a credit to your statement like th this situation does. So... Um, you know, down the road when you you know when you start a business or you got to travel or you want to travel or whatever it is, or you have certain types of you spend money at one place all the time. You want to get a specific credit card for that place that you spend money at. But in general, when you get your first credit card that gives you some type of reward, guys, cash back is always the way to go. And you always want a credit card that gives you two percent cash back, if not more. Okay, um, that's the bare minimum. I always say maybe one point five if the other example uh, if the other benefits are fantastic, but two percent is like the standard. You always want two percent. And for a business credit card, that's really good. The beauty is, is that with this card, everything's two percent. So you don't have to think about okay, is it gas today, groceries today? Because some cards kind of delegate for different categories. What percentage you get is higher, but with this one, you set it and forget it. Two percent on everything. On everything, you can't yeah. beat it. That's yeah. And also spend it. I think you would spend money anyway. So for example. 
putting in gas, you know, buying groceries, for example, uh, maybe making a, a car payment. Whatever you can with your credit card, you can spend money anyway, use it to get points. Yeah. Um, the dumbest thing that you guys can do, and I've been yelling at you guys for the years about this, is use a debit or ca- a debit card or cash. Um, that's what brokies do, okay? Brokies use cash or debit cards, okay? Anytime I see somebody pull out a fucking Bank of America debit card or a Chase Bank debit card or a fucking TD Bank credit card, I'm like, brokey, poor, stupid, <laughs> idiot, not financially savvy. Like, use credit cards for absolutely everything, guys. And if you're really smart, you have a credit card based on how you spend your money. So, for example, I have a travel credit card. Apple. I got a cashback credit card. I got an Apple fucking credit card. I got a credit card um, for any type of uh, situation on where I might spend money. And because the reason why, guys, is because when I use this credit card, it's going to give me some kind of benefit back. Okay, I never spend money unless it's going to give me a benefit back, whether it's a tax write off, it's going to be cash back or something like that. You always want to have a credit card for the situation. And then if there's a situation that's kind of more general, right, you buy some groceries or some shit. Okay, the cash back credit card is going to work. But for some of you guys, right, that love to go grocery shopping and like to cook and you niggas want to be Amaral Lagasse and shit, that's fine. There's credit cards that you can use specific to grocery shopping. They give you like 3 to 5% cash back. So there's always a credit card based on the niche that you like to spend money on. If you're always buying gas because maybe you're a truck driver or maybe you travel a lot, you like to drive, you're one of these like, you know, like to be on open road type niggas, that's fine. There's credit cards that are specific to gas stations that give you 3 to 5% cash back. You like fine dining, there's credit cards that are specifically made for that. You like to fly uh, fucking a certain airline, Southwest or whatever, they got credit cards for that. So there's no excuse ever to use a debit card or cash for any Anything, guys, that's brokey behavior. Anytime I see someone use cash or debit card, I know automatically you're fucking brokey. And nine out of ten times, you probably are not financially savvy. You probably have shitty ass credit score, which is why you are regula- relegated to using a fucking debit card like a fucking peasant or cash. Never use cash or debit card, guys. It's the stupidest thing you can do. Why the fuck are you going to use your own money when you can use other people's money and get a benefit from it? This is what rich people do. They use other people's money to procure assets and or benefits to themselves. Even if you're buying some dumb shit, I don't give a fuck. You want to go buy some towels at Target or some shit, use a credit card. Get some money back. The fuck is wrong with you guys? I remember when I was a kid, my auntie uh, from Maryland, the Muslim, by the way, they would always use cards. Now, I'm like, why are they using credit cards? Well, for example, hotels that they would stay at, Marriott especially, they didn't pay anything. I was like, how do they make getting these hotel stays and free trips? But they were using credit cards. And literally, their whole travel expense was paid through cards. But they spent money on groceries, car issues, equipment, stuff for their businesses, all on their credit cards. So whenever they travel, it was all free. Because they did, they did what? They were smart. Use credit cards for the daily purchases. It's just, it's just smart, man. It, it's, it's Quit like, and, and here's the thing. Like, I just ranted with you guys as far as like the better, like getting free money. But what you also don't realize is when you use your credit, guess what you do? You're bringing up your credit score. And when you bring up your credit score, that's the most important thing because now your credit score is high. Guess what? You want to apply for a home loan. You want to apply for auto loan. You want to apply for um, for anything that you want to apply for a loan in general, right? You're going to be able to get a very good and competitive interest rate. Because your credit score is high. And the thing is, a lot of times, especially if you're trying to buy a fucking house, guys, you want a 30-year fixed loan, you want your credit score as high as possible because that 30-year fixed loan that you're getting, assuming you don't refinance or do anything else like that, you're going to be stuck paying that interest rate forever, right? For 30 years. When you, when they, but if you have a good credit score and you got the interest rate, say the market's at 3% and you're able to get it close to that 3%, bro, you fucking won. You just saved yourself thousands upon thousands of dollars by having a good credit score, just from not being an idiot and using uh, using a card that you would have been using anyway to purchase things. But you must always pay it off, like, what, like what my auntie does. <clears throat> Every month they pay it off right before the statement date. Yeah, so it's always paid off. Yeah, no interest. The, the smart thing At to do, all. guys, obviously, only spend money that you have, exactly. right? Um, but you should be using that credit card to purchase the things and then pay it off in full so you don't give these credit card companies any interest rates. Because if you guys don't, you guys can see here, interest rates fluctuate wildly from 17 all the way up to, I've seen, 30% plus. So guys, don't wait. Cards. Yeah. If you're using debit, stop it, use credit. All right, number two. Second card. We're going to talk about uh, this one here, Bills. Chase. Someone says this. This idiot said it. Myron promoted credit cards because it was a skim card business. What the fuck are you talking about, skim card? Yo, somehow <laughs> niggas are retarded, bro. Man. Yo. What are you talking about, skim card? I don't have no fucking skim card business. Yo. What the fuck are you talking about? I honestly think they just talk to talk. Yeah, some of you niggas bro, in the chat are idiots, bro. Oh Holy fuck, goodness, man. Goodness, bro. Some of them are literally retarded. Do we get no benefit from telling you guys this to is get credit cards? Free Zero value fucking for you guys. benefit. Like, Zero yeah. benefit. 
What the uh, fuck do I get by telling y'all to get your credit score up and to get credit cards? These niggas aren't paying us. We're not sponsored by none of these cards. We're telling you guys to get these cards because we genuinely want you guys to get your credit score up, have multiple credit cards in your arsenal, and get free money, get free travel, get free points, and not have to pay for stupid shit that you can get for free. The I fuck wish, you talking about credit skimmer? What the fuck is a, a, a credit skimmer anyway? I wish I know, when I was coming up, I sounds like, like this telling me what, what cards to get. Because I didn't know what to get myself. So, I mean, bro, if you don't see the value in this, bro, just leave, man. At this point, <laughs> just leave. Just leave, bro. <laughs> oh, we're, we're scamming you guys. Bro, come on, man. It's free value. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> Anyhow. It's always, uh, it's always brokies that say stupid shit like that, bro. Uh, man, and, I've been, uh, and here's the thing. I've been using credit cards since I was 18 years old, guys. I've been telling my friends this shit since I was a fucking teenager. Yo, use a credit card, use a credit card. Like, this is fucking stupid for you to use uh, cash or debit cards. I've been telling people this for fucking the better part of over a decade. And this, I got my first credit card when I was 18, bro. And this info, your parents should be telling you this. But guess what? Sometimes, we're raised by a single mom. She don't know it better. So we're <clears throat> helping you guys out with some advice. That's it, man. That's really it, bro. Goddamn. Um, <laughs> I mean, come on. Okay. Chase, Business Unlimited. My favorite credit card because, once again, business credit goes a long way. So let me explain. Personal credit cards have limits to it. Obviously speaking, it's personal credit against your as a guarantee. Versus business credit uses business, you know, businesses for like a, I want to say, foundational uh, pull, which means your business is going to be liable for everything. However, if you don't want to, it won't report your credit, uh, personal credit score. But business cards like this business unlimited here, the, the limits are way higher because it's a business, one. And two, the more you pay it off, the more history you create with this company, which is Chase, the more they will give you on the credit card. So I had this card uh, when I first got into business, maybe like I want to say four years ago. And this card right here, guys, at a limit of like, what, 10K? It is now well over 50K. But again, paying it off over a period of time, every single month, they trust you with more uh, a loan a loan to debt ratio anyway. So the point is, guys, you can get a way higher limit using business credit cards as well. But this card is unlimited, 1.5% cash back. I wish I knew about the uh, American Express Blue yeah. Cash before, but I banked with Chase, so I wanted the best card with them for cash back that I could see. It was this one here. And uh, this one has no annual fee. but That's why it's 1.5 cash back. Yes. But I'll tell you this. My Lyft, for example, 5% cash back. So whenever yep. I use Lyft, I just card attached to that, that Lyft account, and I get 5% cash back off of each ride. So it's yeah. pretty good. So, um, this, so And this is typically what will happen, guys. So if you get a credit card like this, right, that's like uh, what I call like a multi-use kind of card, right? It's not a straight cash back card where you get 1.5 cash back. Categories. A lot of times they'll have other benefits, right? In this case, you're getting 5% cash back on Lyft. Um, also, open it back up. There's, I think there's no fee. Yeah, employee cards earn rewards faster with employee cards at no additional cost. So other cards will charge you sometimes to give employee cards. Remember how we talked about giving people – employee cards and authorized users they won't charge you for that right and then um and then it says flexible redemption options redeem rewards for cash back gift, gift cards, cards travel, travel and more through chase ultimate rewards your cash back rewards don't expire as long as your account is open so uh there's no limit on the points you could just have them there forever um and then this i guarantee you guys here this earn this five percent cash back through lyft that's probably going to change. Uh, a lot of times, what these credit card ca credit card companies will do is they'll rotate certain benefits, right? So, like maybe one month it'll be Lyft, another month it'll be maybe Uber, another month it'll be uh, maybe a department store. So um, that's why we always show you guys the website as of when we do this, and that's why we have to constantly be doing updates on these credit card episodes because credit cards benefits uh, changes every year because the credit card market is extremely competitive, guys. Um, and they want to get your business at the end of the day. And that's why I tell you all, all the time, like they want to get your business, right? And they want people that are, you know, trusted consumers and they want them to use their credit cards because they get paid every time you use a credit card, by the way, there's merchant fees that the credit card company is getting, right? And then on top of that, they're hoping that you're going to pay the, the um, not pay the full amount and you're going to give them interest. So they want to give you the credit card, let you spend on it. They collect the merchant fees, they collect interest, et cetera. But if you're smart, what do you do? You end up using a credit card, you pay the uh, bill off in full, you don't give them any interest, and then you're able to get the free points and the rewards and travel the world and buy free shit off your points for absolutely free and uh, for money that you were going to spend anyway. That's why I'm so big on telling you guys, I, I know I got to drill it into your heads, but yo, don't use a debit card. When I was doing my fitness thing, right, and I had a couple uh, spots for you guys and a couple, I got on calls with some of you guys. Some of y'all didn't have credit cards. Y'all were like, oh, yeah, here's my debit card number. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Give me a debit card number. What's wrong with you? You should be using a credit card to do this. Like, get some goddamn benefit on this expenditure, man. Like, guys, every single one of y'all watching right now, you should have at least 
one to two credit cards, and that credit card better be giving you some kind of fucking benefit. And if it's not giving you a benefit, it better be a fucking startup, uh, you know, a startup credit card or a beginner credit card, maybe a secured credit card to get your credit score up to a point where you can finally apply for and get a good credit card, whether it's a travel card, a cashback card, whatever it is, get your fucking credit score up, get credit cards, guys, get two to three of them, and use them, dude, okay? Don't go into debt, obviously, pay it off in full, but you should never be using a debit card or cash, man. That's broke you shit, man. Well said. Yeah, I mean, I gotta, I gotta repeat it a million times for them, but it's like, bro, th- that's. And look, the more bro, you know, the better. Want y'all get benefits, man. Like, we don't benefit at all by telling you guys this shit. Like, we, we just want y'all to have your credit score up so that you guys can be in a position where if you want to buy a house, you want to buy a car, you want to get a personal loan to deal with something, etc. You want to have good credit, man. Yo, in America, in the United States in general, like debt is very important, right? We live in a debt society. Okay, and being able to have good credit, which means you are a trusted consumer, is extremely important. I would rather have an 800 credit score and two hundred thousand dollars than have a million dollars and a four hundred credit score. Yeah, that's how important that uh, having credit is, guys. There's a slogan that says America runs on Duncan. No, America runs on credit, literally, because literally, guys, your whole life, if you're not going to be, I want to say, in the system, you're going to need credit at least sometime or another. So. Guys, understand credit is very important to your success. Even as a business owner, you're going to need credit. All right. Uh, third card. We have here. All the richest people, none of them ever use cash or debit cards, bro. And, and if they, they did, all use credit cards. And if they did at one point, they smartened up and said, you know what? Yeah. It's a waste. Let me get credit. Even so. Dave Ramsey, guaranteed he's using credit cards. <laughs> he tells you all the time, hey, don't get a debt, blah, blah, blah. Bro, he's using, he's using credit cards. Trust me. But for the average person, though, I see why he yeah, says he, that. Yeah, he does it because they don't pay back on time, and then they get into more debt, idiots. and they get issues, and then, yeah. yeah. They're idiots. But if you're yeah. watching this podcast, you're, you're a higher IQ Hopefully. individual. If you're watching our shit already, and you can see through the bullshit and the, the clips and people trying to make us look like crazy misogynists, whatever, and you're here watching us, I already know for a fact that you don't go with the social narrative, you're, uh, you go against the grain, and you're probably higher IQ than most people. So look, since you're higher, a higher IQ than most people, we need to do higher IQ moves. We need to leverage credit to our advantage, guys. And the biggest reason why I want you guys to have good credit is at some point, I want all you motherfuckers to own a real estate property. Why well, don't want you to use a real, have a real estate property? When you have a real estate property, guys, that is an asset that will pay you back not only in rent and appreciation, but guess what? If the fucking you know, storm hits and you guys are broke and you don't got no money, blah, 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 guess what you could do? You could do a fucking cash out refinance. You could do a home equity line of credit and you can borrow against your fucking house. And guess what? It's tax free because it's a fucking loan. They can't charge. They can't charge you tax on a fucking loan. This is what the wealthy do. This is what Robert Kiyosaki does. This is what Grant Cardone does. This is what fucking Ken McElroy does. All these billionaire fucking real estate investors, guys, they don't pay taxes. You want to know why? Because they borrow against their assets. When you borrow against your assets, you don't have to pay taxes on shit. Their earned income is down, but they're borrowing against assets that they purchased, and they're getting millions upon millions of dollars off of their fucking assets, and they don't got to worry about shit, and they're paying the tax man less than you pay. You make 50K per year. Some of y'all right now watching this fucking show making 50, 60, 70, 80K per year, you guys are paying more taxes than Grant Cardone. Some of you guys right now that make 100K per year, 120K per year, etc. I pay less taxes than you motherfuckers. And that should not be what it is. But it's because we don't teach people financial literacy. We don't tell them to buy assets. We don't tell them to uh, go ahead and get their credit score up so they can be in a position where they can get an asset at a good interest rate for a long-term period. We don't teach you guys this shit because they want you to stay broke. They want you to stay poor. They want you to stay in consumer debt like a fucking moron. That's what they want. They don't teach you guys this shit. All right? You know what happens, man? You're 18. You get a credit card. Credit card. You're going to school. You're actually like, Buying stuff, furniture, maybe for your, your new dorm room. You're getting stuff for, like, school. You build out credit score, but you're also spending money as well. You don't pay it off. You buy some clothes. You go out with some friends. Maybe pop a bottle or two. You never paid it back. Then you're 30 years old. You want to buy property. You're working a job now. But you go to the banker, and he says, hey, listen, man. Um, I like a property. I got family here, you know, wife and some kids. And, uh, you know, I think it's time. Runs your credit. Looks at your, uh, you know, scores, all three uh, bureaus, and says to you, "Sir, uh, we can't give you a house." You're like, "Hold, hold on, you know, I pay my taxes. I'm a good guy. What's going on here?" Uh, looks like you have some, um, I want to say, unpaid dues. What is that? Remember, you when you were 18 years old, got a credit card, never paid it off. So now it's delinquent, and you have bad debt. You never paid off. So as a result, it's going to affect your actual 
process of buying maybe a car or a house. But that's the average American on some level because these people don't understand how credit cards actually work. And if you don't pay it off, it can come, come out to haunt you in the future. So, guys, credit is very important, man, no matter what you do. So, Yeah, man. It'll, it'll literally hold you back. Um, yeah, it will. <clears throat> All right, what's the next card? All right, so we talked about the Business Inc. All right, cool. Yeah. American Inc. Oh, okay, here. The okay, plum. so this is, a, this is the legendary plum that we talked to you guys about when we had um, uh, KT in KT here, Hustles. guys. KT talked very highly about this card, and I can so see why. we had to add it to the list, man. We had yeah, to. Yeah, This actually is one card we never mentioned before because, obviously, we were already— I, I had known about this card, but— Yeah, but we didn't really put any mind to it. But after hearing the benefits, see the benefits— You want to hear funny? What? I was actually the last business one that we were gonna do. I was gonna put this card on the list, but I was like, nah, niggas are gonna get lazy because it's sixty days. Sixty days. Yeah, oh, I was okay, like, okay, okay, okay. I was like, nah, it's gonna teach some bad habits. They're like, oh, I'm just not gonna pay it off. I got sixty days. But, got some- <laughs> but, but, but hold on, for business itself, I understand why you may want this card. Yeah. Because at least it's a good six, card. Sixty days is more time for you to pay it off. Yeah. Because let's be honest here, some businesses are a little slower than others, and let's say for the first month, you don't know, make all the money you need to make, then you can't pay your card off right away. But with the plum, you have what? 60 days to pay it off uh, for that uh, statement. So listen, guys, if you have a business, right, where cash flow is not as good as you want it to be, maybe it's e-commerce, you have to wait for money to come in. Or you might have like a, some type of like weird net 30, net, net 60, where you don't get paid until the month after the fact for a month that already like, uh, you know, closed. Exactly. This could be a card for you as well with your business. So it's a little bit under the gold and bit on platinum, but it's still a very good card. And if you see the benefits here, uh, let's see, you have... 1.5% early payback discount, which is good because, let's say, for example, you pay back in the month, even better. Um, Can we so enlarge that real quick? 60 days to pay. Okay. With the Plum card, get unlimited 1.5 cash back uh, on eligible purchases when you pay within 10 days of your statement closing date. Just pay your minimum payment due uh, by your payment due date and see the discount applied to your next statement. That's pretty so good. That's not bad. And then uh, flexibility, peace of mind, extra days to pay. Take up to 60 days to pay without interest when you pay the minimum due by the payment due date, which isn't a bad uh, gig, man, because I'll tell you guys this. The other cards like the Amex Gold, Amex Platinum, et cetera, they're all charge cards. And after 30 days, they're going to give you, hit you with interest. Yep. So this might be a good one. Um, and then travel benefits, no foreign transaction fees. That's pretty good um, because um, some Amex cards give you foreign transaction fees. And you guys are probably wondering what the fuck is that. Uh, so let's say you use your credit card in Barbados. another country, right? You'll get hit with those foreign transaction fees, and they can add up very quickly, guys. So um, you typically – and most credit cards don't have foreign transaction fees. That's why I always suggest that you have at least one travel car- credit card in your repertoire, guys, because you can avoid foreign transaction fees like this. Um, yeah. What else do we got here? Um, and then return protection, which a lot of credit cards have this, but yeah, like if you end up where, um, you know, consumer protection when you Let's purchase Let's say you things. buy an item, you never receive it, then you can just call AMX and they'll, they'll get it back for you. That's another reason, too, why you always want to use credit cards, man. Yep. Protection. Yeah, bro. Um, but yeah. And then there's a $250 annual fee, um, which, you know, not not bad, uh, not the worst. Um, I've seen way worse annual fees, like uh, the Amex Platinum got like a, what is it, seven or 800? 695. It's 700 now. And it's going up, by the way. God oh. damn. Holy. Yeah, bro. Uh, platinum ain't for everybody, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Top so, tier. Yeah, so you, you it was really not, you get a lot of benefits. But benefits but still kind of do overcome that price. You know, it, they it, do. If you utilize everything, it actually does overcome it. But yeah, yeah I mean, it is a little uh, 700 annual fee is wild. Like, that's why I tell you guys, like the platinum and the gold and shit like that, like these are cards that, you know, once you're really profitable and you're doing well, that's when you want to get those kinds of business cards. But in general, man, for the average person, maybe you don't need all. You don't need. You don't need to be flexing like that. Uh, I believe. Can you upgrade to a different Amex card once you have it? Like, let's say you yes. have a plum. You can. You can, you, gold? can you can upgrade and you can downgrade. That's good. You can you can call Amex and you can upgrade and you can downgrade. That's so that, that's one of the that's one of the good things with them as well. So you can start here and then work your way up. You can work if your you way want up. To. Yeah, yeah. Depending on how profitable you are, and then also uh, just so you know that annual fee, you can write that off. Or oh, yeah. Or, you know what I did? Um, so I saw that annual fee hit me. It actually hit me, I think, at the end of the year, I think December. I just used the points that I already had to just pay it off. Mm. So you can use points that you accumulate, right, from using the card and just use those points towards that annual fee and it's done. Speaking of points, White. business credit cards, we're traveling on Thursday to Las Vegas. And as you guys know, it is what? Super Bowl, Super Bowl weekend. weekend. Holy. Holy. The, the prices, prices are, are skyrocket. Listen, I love Royalty Exotics in uh, Vegas. My boy's r- rental company. I want to rent a Lamborghini Urus. Then they can tax me, bro, because it's Super Bowl. I get it. So not only cars are expensive, but hotels, dinner, everything's going to be way up. So yeah. we said, you know what? How do we avert this cost and save money? As, you know, smart people, they do business, you know, uh, and as well, we want to save money. So we say, you know what? Perfect. What do we use every, every single day? Business credit cards. 
But what do we get when we use the, use the cards? We get points. So we just deduct that uh, point from the actual price of the um, uh, hotel, and we pay almost nothing. So I think, guys, on some level, if you're smart, you can pay for travel as you go when you, whenever you use your card. But at the same time, if you want to save money, you can do as well. So I think either way, getting points is good for you as well. And travel always works because who wants to spend money when they travel? I mean, I don't. So it's pretty good. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> oh, and by the way, we're staying at a nice hotel, by the way. Yeah, not bad. It's yeah, we, and uh, all paid for with the points, man. Yeah. So W. Um, yo, shout out to the two trolls in the fucking Rumble chat. What? Because asking why are we going to fucking Vegas when we don't watch sports? Uh, there's a slap. There's a power slap event. We're going with Rumble. So, yeah, niggas be hating, bro. Yo, I'll never see, understand. See, like haters. No, don't ban them, guys. Don't remove them. Don't no. don't, don't remove them. Hold let on, them hold fucking on. stay in you, here you, and talk you, shit. See, you better than me, cause bro, cause I don't. I'm not gonna respond. I'm just like, okay, nah, nah, cool. Let, let them let them sit there and talk their shit, man. <laughs> let, don't ban them, mods. Don't ban them. Let them let them fucking sit there and troll their weirdos. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll unban them. No, nah, don't. Yeah, don't I'll, ban them, bro. I'm unbanning him. You're unbanning them? Yeah. Yeah, don't I think it's like the weed 420 dude and some EG or some shit like that. Don't ban them. Let them say what they want. Uh, who's up next? All right, who's next? Uh, Capital One. Oh, okay. This is the next one. This this is actually a very good card, man. This is not an easy card to get, though. This is a hard card to get, guys. Um, the the Spark uh, Capital One, uh, Spark Cash Plus. This is a really good business it's a credit card. It's a green card, but it's almost like a black card. Uh, Bills. This is actually a card your mom uses, right? Yeah, absolutely. You mind giving us some detail about this card? Um, some backstory. Yeah, my mom loves this card. It, it pretty much she has no limit on it. She could just like um, she could pretty much. I mean, it's a charge card. She has to pay it all back the same month, of course. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's pretty much it's a heavy metal card. It's metal. Um, I use this a couple times. It's it's nice. It's, it, she loves it. She loves it more than our Amex Gold. She uses it more than our Amex Gold. So Capital Spark. Yep. All right, and then some more uh, stuff here on the card. So earn cash back on primary employee cards. Rewards don't expire. No foreign transaction fees. Cons. Balance must be paid in full every month. Has annual fee, which is 150 which is too bad. But high spending requirement to hit full welcome bonus and a bonus offers. And and that's going to be a lot of business credit cards, guys. They're going to have, like, a lot of times they'll give you a sign-up bonus. Like, they'll give you, we'll give you $1,000 or $1,000 back, yeah. but y'all got to spend 10 k in the first three months of opening the account. Well, look, man, if you got a business, it's really not that hard to spend $10,000 in three months, guys. But you know what's crazy? It really isn't. You want to meet somebody when they get a new business credit card because they want to spend money. So listen, bro, we're friends, right, bro? Hey, man, you need points for that limit. You need points. You need to spend money to get th those points. So why not? Why don't you just like buy this, uh, you know, this bottle for me? Just buy this, uh, you know, food for me. You know what, bro? You got a new card. Spend money because they need to spend money anyway. So, and not not only that. Um, the other thing too, guys. A lot of these credit cards they'll give you like you know, zero percent interest the first twelve first, or yeah, eighteen 12 months. months. Right. So you got to spend that money. Right. You spend that money in the first three months or whatever. But you have like a year to pay it off a year and a half without any interest. Not bro, bad gig, man. Not, ba not I bad. I had to spend 15K on my car. Bro, I was so nice to people. Listen, bro. Dinner is on me. <laughs> Movies on me. <laughs> Model on me. Let me spend the money real quick. But <laughs> cash out me real quick. <laughs> but hey, man, for the points, bro. Yeah, do whatever. yeah, you get the points. Yeah. So, um. All right, what else do we got here? Uh, but yeah, this is a good card, man. Um, it, uh, the annual fee is 150 bucks. Sign up bonus for a limited time. Earn 3,000 cash bonus. Oh wow, that's quite a bit. Um, 1,500 once you spend 20,000 the first three months. Yeah, see. God <laughs> damn. And an additional 1,500 once you spend 100,000 100,000 the first six months. Um, now here's the thing though, bro. If you got a brick and mortar business where you got like a storefront or some shit like that, mm. that's not that much. It's not. You could you could you could supplies that, that equipment. supplies. Payroll, product sure. like that, you can easily spend that. So, um, it, it, maybe even rent. Yeah. Rent, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. You pay rent, rent for your business? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah, like that. You could spend that. Um, spending uh, 20K in three months is totally possible if, if you're a business owner, especially if you got like a brick and mortar business, guys. So, ongoing rewards earn 2% cash back on every purchase, every reward, no limits or category restrictions. That's really good. So, you can really let that 2% like fly up. Because mm -hmm. um, you guys saw the other cash back ones that we had, like the, the uh, Amex um, Blue Cash. It's up to fifty thousand dollars per the calendar year. Yeah. So you can only earn up to fifty thousand dollars. Which sucks. On, uh, which is kind of yeah, it sucks. But but that's fine. But this one is unlimited, and then earn five percent cash back on hotels and rental cars booked through the Capital One Travel. That's pretty that's fucking nice. Yeah. Five percent cash back. Five percent cash back on hotels and rental cars. Hey man, you're traveling. You're yeah. In a car. That's use, a good one. Use your card. That's fucking lit. Like yeah, it does have high spend, but this card is gonna be really fantastic for you guys if you have a brick and mortar business, bro. Because twenty k. In, in three months is totally possible, and then 100K in six months is totally possible. Because remember, payroll, 
uh, equipment, uh, rent. cars, rent, yeah. any of this shit you can use uh, for your business credit card. Because yep. it's running the business, man. So that's 100% possible. And then you get 3,000 cash bonus? And you're getting 2% cash back on that? <sighs> this is a really fucking good card, guys. And the good part is, you're spending the money anyway. You're spending it anyway. So might as well make some money off of it, too. Yeah. And it's uh, And they get your annual fee refunded every year. You spend at least 150 k Bam. So if you spend 150 k per year, there is no annual fee on this thing, which is totally possible as a business owner, guys. Uh, rewards won't expire for the life of the account. No preset spending limit. Benefits may change over time. So, guys, this is a charge card as well. No limit. You want to spend fucking $100,000 and purchase something right then and there? Boom. You can make it happen. Hey, some of you want a black card. Well, guess what? You know, you might not get it. You might get a green card, though, so there you go. There you go. You can use this <laughs> instead, man. There you go. So, yeah, that's actually, that, it's a really good business credit card, but I'm going to warn you guys, it's hard to get. Yeah, high That, that credit card is very entry. hard to get. Yeah. Um. So make sure you have all your shit in line before uh, you apply. Before you apply. Um, okay. Last one here? Yeah. Last one. Y'all know what this one is. Hey, we know what <laughs> it is. I am it. Down the Marco go. Hey, here's the thing, man. Hey, nigga. Man, MX need to hey, cut nigga. us a check, man. We got both. Gold and platinum. MX need to yeah. cut us a check, man. This is bro, bullshit, bro. bro. We keep promoting you fucking losers. That's Listen, Martin. bro. That we got American Myron's Express, yeah, man. We got gold that. and platinum, nigga. Yeah. By the way. That card is Myron's best friend. my hotel, yeah. my flight to Europe, everything, bro. So yeah. shout out to MX, man, for the points. Yeah, shout out to y'all, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, they're definitely uh, <laughs> fresh booked everything for us with the Amex. So um, great card, guys. Uh but I'll keep it a thousand with y'all, man. It, it, this is this is a, um, you know, make sure that you're profitable when you have a card like this. Like I said, it's a seven hundred dollar annual fee. Yeah. Um, you know, if you don't travel a lot, etc., like it, you might not use it to its, you know, biggest capacity because this is a travel card. The Amex Platinum is a travel card. I'll tell you what. Predominantly. With the intro bonus for this card, if you actually make the points within the three month period of using this card. It'll pay for the annual fee, actually. Mm, so yeah. could, that could be your bonus, too, as well. Yep, yep, so yep, yep. pay for itself. Um, and then all the benefits, too, as well. The benefits of the card, travel, points, uh, gift card, everything. It just like, maximizes your actual choice of the card. Mind you, Uber eats. Uber yep. itself. Let's pull it up real quick. Whenever you use the, a card, you yeah. get actual cash back and points, too, as um, well. Let's see here. So you get 5X on flights and prepaid hotels, 1.5 points on eligible purchases, 1 points on other eligible purchases. Uh, you get a four hundred dollars statement credit. Uh, scroll down real quick. Uh, okay, shop Dell. Okay, so they still got to deal with Dumb Dell. Indeed, with Dell. So if you want to buy computers with Dell for your business, you can. You got to deal with Indeed. Build your team up with Indeed. Um, Adobe Creative uh, Solutions. Okay, I think that's new. One hundred fifty dollars credit towards that. Um, wireless credit. Get up to one hundred twenty dollars per year back for a purchase on U.S. wireless telephone service providers. Mm -hmm. So you know you want to go ahead and get a phone line. They'll cover that. Um, the Global Launch Collection. Um, so. Uh, guys, a lot of big airports will have um, the Centurion lounges, right? Where yes. you can, they'll have free food in there. It's way more comfortable. They got showers and shit like that. So if you travel a lot and you, you know, get these long ass layovers, etc., you can Actually, go ahead and chill in these lounges. I was heading, I was heading to, to Jamaica and I was there super early. Boom, I was hung, I was hungry. Went to the uh, lounge and got free food. Yep. Got a nice place to sit, chill out until my flight was ready. And Wi-Fi, all that versus like sitting with all the brokies in a regular area. Yep. Um, this is pretty helpful. Clear. That's good. You get $180 towards clear, man, so you can go ahead and cut the lines. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. I, I need to renew my clear. Yeah, there you go. Bam. <laughs> yeah, clear. Your card, your card will take care of that. Clear is real good, man. I got a lifetime membership. A, yeah, clear is lit. No, no, but they, they did an update. You have, you have to go inside to the clear um, department to get your uh, ID checked and get a facial recognition to update for the new uh, rules. For the audience, because they're probably wondering what the fuck is clear. So when you're at the airport, guys, clear, what it, do, it does is it basically scans your, your, uh, your face Especially your, I think it's your, they do it mostly off your eyes. Mm -hmm. um, it scans your face, and then what ends up happening is you can pretty much cut the line, and you can go right to TSA. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, Bills used to work for Clear, actually. Wait, so, what, what's the opposite to that? Uh, TSA pre-check. TSA pre-check. You could get yeah. TSA pre-check, Either or works. Yeah, either or. You could get both if you want to. Yeah. Because some airports might not be as compatible with Clear. Um, but yeah. I see it at every, every major airport I, I, I we've been Nigga. to. We see I go clear. straight there. Forget yeah, the line, we go, to clear, go straight bro. there. We be cutting, man. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> fuck yeah. fuck y'all, brokies. We need to go uh, <laughs> on Thursday. Uh, yeah. Actually. Yeah, so we use clear all the time, bro, because we be getting there late. I ain't going to lie, but we be cutting the line. <laughs> Whose fault is it getting there late? <laughs> yeah. I know you Yo, ain't talking. Look at the vlogs. It's his fault. <laughs> no, it's not bro, my fault. Bro, we be on the good time, man. Byron, the place at 10 o'clock. All right, bro, it's 9.30. Let's go. 9.30, nigga? Fuck, <laughs> it be late. 
Hey I'll tell you this, man. You can be uh, playing Overwatch. When I used to be at the job, <laughs> when I used to work for the job, bro, we used to go around, man. Yeah. Waiting in lines is like new to me, man. Yo. When I used to be on the job, bro, you go around the See, back and you go in through where the pilots and shit go and you just cut the See, line, bro. My mom taught me, bro. No TSA, Show up man. Two hours early because you never know what could happen. Yeah. It might be. But we got clear. Now, so we good. Flat tire. And you then never what's, know. what's the other shit? That, and Global then I think, entry. And they, think they, show, they give you global entry. So, yo, you could do both Amex with the Amex thing. Yeah, they give it yeah, all. They give, you, they give you it all, bro. So, uh, you know, oh, you get $200 airline way, credit fee. We use the fine hotels and resort program as well. So, so you know, you got the Marriott. So, guys, there's a lot of uh, benefits, obviously. That's why it comes with a hefty $700. And it's a flex, fucking, bro. Uh, thing. A metal platinum card. It is a pretty yo, nice card. You're on a date, bro. <laughs> right? You're not a brokey, bro. You work your, on your ass off to become successful. You know, you're, you got your own business. Yo, the tab comes for dinner. You're like, pull my card out. That's mm. make sure make make sure she sees it. Hold on, hold on. No. Make, sure, make, make sure you're like, mm. uh, which one should I use? The gold or the platinum? Ooh, platinum, bitch. <laughs> Pay for it. That's it. But hold on, it gets better. Mm. Don't look at the actual receipt. Just put it down. Oh, just put the card down. Face and look away. down. Mm. Say yo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take it. Mm. So G shit, man. Don't look at it. You, yeah, there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's same, right. man. It works every time. W all game. Right. W game. Uh, all right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah, it's it's a, it's a good card, man. Um, and then uh, honorable mention, I think the Amex Gold is also good. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't want to deal with this high of an uh, annual fee, uh, the Amex Gold gives you a lot of the si similar same benefits. Similar more benefits towards food and dining. Yeah, it's yeah. not as uh, it's, not, it's not as lit as the Amex Platinum, but it's a cheaper annual fee. It still looks good. I, I, you can make the argument that the Amex Gold actually looks better than the Platinum. I would say it looks better. It looks better. And it comes in rose gold. <laughs> the rose gold one hard. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. I fuck with that one. Rose so, gold platinum, bro. Holy. Yeah. So you but know, guys, that is or. the top five business credit cards for this year. We, we recommend. And honestly speaking, guys, any of them is good, but. Having multiple is good as well. So yeah, you know, um, what you, you guys should for, do, you should have a card for, for every purpose. For, for travel, you should have one travel card, cash back, one cash back, and then one business credit card, business credit card, and then from there, once you have that, that's what I call like the starter pack. You have yeah. those three, right? Then from there, that's when you can get into like Charmander, the specific cards, Bulbasaur, Squirtle. What? What? Okay. What? Starter pack, bro. Yeah, starter pack. <laughs> hey, man, come on, bro. <laughs> But yeah, from there, that's when you can go ahead and get into like the more you know specific cards, right? Like there's some people that have like a Walmart credit card because they shop at Walmart Marriott. all the time. There's some people that have a Marriott card because yeah. they always stay at Marriott. Delta, there are the so Delta blessed. or some shit like that. Yeah. So, but before you get like a specific credit card that's used for a specific bit uh, company, make sure that you have your you know your basics done. Have one good cashback credit card. Have one good travel credit card. Have one uh, good business credit card if you're a business owner. And then from there you can build you can build your uh, credit card um, collection from there. Um, but yo, you guys should at least have those three, man. Yeah. Um, and if you don't, bro, like you guys got to work towards it. And then at, at bare minimum, if you, let's say you don't travel, cool. Let's say you don't have a business, cool. cool. At least have a cashback credit card, bro. At least have that. Because why? You're spending the money anyway. Yeah. Like cash every back. single one of y'all watching this podcast right now needs to have a cashback credit card at bare fucking minimum. That's getting you back uh, 1.5 to 2% cashback. We've done a whole episode on cashback credit cards. I think with the, the, the one that we always recommend is the City Double Cashback. Yeah. Uh, which we don't even have, by the way. Yeah. It's just a good, cre good cashback though. credit card, right? It's like we're giving you guys sauce that we don't even, we, we might not even have the card, but we still are able to be um, card agnostic and tell you guys, yo, this is the best cashback credit card. Right, just uh, like for general purposes, the city double cashback. It's like green and blue, if I'm not mistaken. We can pull up, pull it up on screen. How for many these cards do you have in total? Me, yeah. I have like five or six. I have four credit cards. Yeah, you said it's the Business. city, the city, a what? city double cashback. If I'm not mistaken, double like all y'all should at least have that, bro. At least, at least, if if you don't want to use, um, yeah, 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 you, I see it. yeah, that's that's it right there. Boom, you get two percent cashback, uh, one percent when you pay, one percent when you spend. So two percent flat. This is this is basically one of the best cashback cards, man. Uh, I know some of y'all in the chat are saying Apple credit card. The, the, here's the thing with Apple card. I don't suggest you do the Apple card unless you like to use Apple Pay a lot or you buy a lot of Apple products. I'm going to keep it a thousand with you. I yeah. got the Apple credit, credit card, but it is a um, – because the physical card itself, I ain't going to lie, it's nice. It's white and metal. It's a nice flex card. However, the, you have to request it. If you want it, they, they don't give it to you. When you get, if you get approved for the Apple card, they don't give it's you, a, they don't give you phone. the physical card unless you ask for it. Yeah, it's on your and phone. then if you use the card, it defeats the purpose because I think, if I'm not mistaken, you only get like 
one and a half to two percent cash back. But if you use Apple Pay, you get three percent cash back. So for you to get the full benefits of the Apple Card, you need to use Apple Pay. And I think you get five percent cash back if you purchase Apple products. So unless you use Apple products all the time or you use um, uh, Apple Pay all the time, it might not be worth it for you to get an Apple Card, guys. Just keeping a thousand with y'all, even though I have one. Um, but, but I genuinely think the best all-around cashback credit card, even though we don't have it, is the City Cashback. The reason why I don't have it is because it doesn't make sense. I already have like two or three cashback credit cards. Yeah, but you guys don't it doesn't have make any. sense for me to get one. But for you guys, yeah, that's a fantastic cashback card. All right, boom. Um, that's, bam. That's it. We gave you a lot of sauce, man. Good sauce. Uh, and then okay, what is uh? Some we got chats. Here? Okay, oh, yeah, we got some chats. Right okay, here. we got here. Jaleel goes, hey F and F. I know this is super late for me to. Uh, to to do, and I don't blame at all if you don't give me shit for this, but I'm about to get my first credit card at 23 soon. What is the best way to start off as someone who has no credit and no debt? I always bought in cash. Yeah, that's brokey shit right there, which so, I'm glad. And it's not too late, bro, at 23. Good late. job. Um, There's bro, a hack you can do what? where you can actually become a cardholder of user. a yeah. family member, for yeah. example, father, mother, uncle, auntie. And they put on, your, on their credit card, you can actually get uh, points way faster because you're going to see history of your uh, family member. Yep. But you being an authorized user, you get those same benefits as well. But, of course, don't run up the card. Don't waste money. I respect that they did that for you. And I think within three to five, five months, you're going to see a bump in your credit yeah. score instantly. Now, if you don't have someone that's willing to put you as an authorized user, the other option you could do is get one of these secured credit cards. Yes. Um, and a secured credit card. Watch our episode that we did with, like, uh, how to uh, get in uh, – credit cards with no to low credit a secure credit card basically you put money up front you get that credit card so it's backed by the money that you put in and then once you have that card for a few months you can go ahead and upgrade it to an unsecured credit card and then that's how you kind of get your foot in the door and uh get your way up but that's good bro 23 that you're thinking about this but yeah bro paying in cash and debit card is brokey shit Yo, no one that's watched this podcast should ever be doing that i'll shit. tell you this i know some people 30 plus years old no credit cards idiots so you're way ahead of the stupid game bro fucks wait 30 plus years old with no credit cards stupid oh. Amen. Stupid, stupid, stupid. There you um, go. Can't do times. When will you guys have a show in front of a live audience again? I can see in like two or three years, y'all could have a tour show in arenas or venues all over having crowd shows answering their questions. I'm going to make sure I make it to the next one. We have actually someone in the back that wants to help us with this as well. Uh, my boy here. Um, so we'll talk about this, bro, behind the scenes. But yeah. I think we're going to yeah. move on to that next. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do... Uh, Detox in the building. It's just that <laughs> coordinating it, man, is very... Uh, it's a lot of work, bro. Yeah, bro. Um, Plus, what's up, guys? What? We love Miami too much. Yeah. What's up, guys? Thanks for all the value you provide despite the haters say, uh, the day the haters uh, get a W, the world will end. <laughs> P.S. Can we get an after hour show in Japan with MLD so we can see the contrast between uh, the East and West? Yeah, we, we, we <laughs> Japan is definitely on the list for us to go out there. Yeah. Mars Glock. Yo, I appreciate you guys so much for giving us free sauce. I re recommend you guys put... Referral links in the description for these cards so you can get a kickback. Nah, man. Fuck That's that cool, shit. That's cool, bro. We, we don't give a fuck about making money, bro. We like When it comes to that shit, we just want y'all to have the sauce. Um, we're genuinely, like, we're not getting paid by these companies. We're not using no affiliate links, none of that shit. And I know a lot of credit card YouTubers typically put, like, kickback links. So if people sign up, they get a kickback. But nah, man, we're keeping it organic for you guys. So it's we don't get paid for this shit. We just want to give y'all the best sauce. Uh, Timo TV goes, I have one question. I'm 23. Uh, I have saved a good amount of money, about twenty thousand dollars, and I have seven uh, thirty-four credit score. Good job. Uh, question: Is it a good time to get a house? As right now, even though interest is at seven percent, or should I wait, bro? <laughs> look, man, for all you fucking house masturbators that watch this podcast, always buy real estate. Don't sit there and say, "Yo, the market's gonna crash," or "Is it a good time to buy?" No, fucking buy. Okay. And the reason why I say buy is because if you got a good deal in front of you. Buy the fucking deal, okay? Guys, we're, we're, we have a shortage of houses in the United States, all right? Especially the single-family home. There's a housing shortage. There's no way that the real estate market is going to crash when we have a housing shortage. Impossible, okay? So for all the doom and gloomers that say the housing market is going to crash, that's not happening. Number two, BlackRock is buying houses like fucking crazy. They're buying single-family homes. That should tell you something. And then number three, who cares if the interest rates are high right now? The interest rates are going to come down this election year more than likely because every so single fucking president always campaigns on the fact that I'm bringing interest rates down. So guess what? Let's say you buy the house, you know, at a 7% interest rate. Uh, 7% interest rate right now, but then it goes down to 4 to 5. Guess what you could do? Do a fucking refinance. Ta-da! <laughs> Done. 
Okay? But don't sit there and be like, the interest rates are too high, so I don't know if I'm going to buy. That's the most low IQ, retarded shit that you can do. Because the goal is to control the asset. Who gives a fuck if the interest rate is high right now? It's going to come down, and when it comes down, you just refinance. Listen. Done. A good deal is a good deal. Holy No matter fuck. when it is. A good deal, right numbers, it doesn't matter if it's high interest rate, low interest rate. It's you a just good deal. refi, bro. Just yeah. refi. And, and if you're going to be fine. Refi. There you go. You know? Yo, I'm, I'm, uh, there's lend Bro. There's lenders out there that will let you do a fucking refi a month after closing. Yep. So what's the excuse? I'm scared, bro. I'm scared. Oh, my God. Yeah, man. Yo, do, do, <laughs> do not listen to these fucking idiots that sit there and tell you that the real estate market is going to crash or blah, blah, blah. Tell you this, man. What the fuck is BlackRock doing? They're buying houses left and right, man. They didn't stop. They didn't stop at all. For nobody. So. Yeah, man. Don't, don't let these fucking guys scare you, bro. Yeah. The interest uh, rates are too high. Man, uh, the, the, bro. You know That's what they, what they want you to think, bro. They, so they could buy houses before you. You know how many fucking real estate, I call them real estate masturbators. They'll sit there and be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to buy my real estate. I'm going to buy my first property. I'm just waiting uh, until the interest rates come down. Interest rates down 3%. Oh, yeah, they're going to go down again. I'm going to get it at 2%. Niggas never buy, bro. They never take action, and they wonder why they're fucking broke. They don't got no assets. Bro, just buy the fucking deal. If the numbers work, buy the fucking deal. Because guess what? When the interest rate comes down, it's only going to get better for you. You just cash out refi, which you don't pay fucking taxes on that, by the way, and you're good. You got that better interest rate now. Mm. God damn. True. Castle Germ says, Casual Germ. Sorry, Castle Germ says, Been following you all since June 2021. Happy to say everyone sees the difference in my movements and behavior. I've increased my credit score by over right 100 points during January of 23 to 24. Keep preaching the good word, gents. Shout out to you, bro. Good job on that. Um, Scripto Boogie says, Myron, I'm good friends with Miguel, DCC. I'm real estate and I buy acreage and I subdivide it into half acre lots. I'm having a hard time. Uh, what's that here? I'm having a hard time marketing them on Facebook ads. Which marketing tools do you use to sell some of your properties? Well, you don't sell. He's selling, ten, he's selling land? Yeah, acres. Yeah, he's selling land. Bro, it's always going to be harder to sell land, bro. This is why I don't buy. Personally, people ask me all the time, Aaron, why don't you buy land? That That's exactly why I don't buy land. Mm. Because um, it's it's hard to get rid of. Because you don't get tax benefits from land, guys, like that. Um, remember, when you do depreciation um, and cost segregation, you're, you're, you're doing it against the house, not the fucking property. Uh, sorry, not the actual, like, land mm. so um a matter of fact that's why when you do depreciation you're not able to do it uh fully is because they, they account for the when you do cost seg i think it's like 80 percent or something like that that's because they're accounting for uh the land right so um land doesn't give you the same uh i mean you could get tax write-offs i'm sure but you're not going to get the same you're not going to be able to uh, aggressively deduct at the same level as when you have actual structure on it so yeah, bro, this is why I, I purposely don't buy land unless it's in an area that's booming and you know that there's going to be a future. You're buying land in fucking Miami or Vegas or whatever, but at that point, it's Orlando. probably too expensive anyway. cheat code. Yeah, but yeah, man, I, I don't. this is why I don't buy land. Um, and I don't sell either. What me, my thing is I buy it, I stick with it. I'm not fucking selling for shit, bro. I buy and hold all my properties, man, because at the end of the day, real estate is always going to go up. It's always going to go up. So it doesn't make, I, I'm not selling shit, man. So, but that's why it's so important. To do your numbers in the beginning and make sure that the cash flows and everything else like that. If the cash flows and this interest rate isn't terrible, pick yeah. it up. Jeremy says, big up to you guys for this live. I appreciate y'all taking out the time of your day to even do this for us. And for those who don't know any better, so shout out to you guys. And don't forget to check my Instagram, Big Things of Guan. I message Mo, appreciate y'all. Mo, you got it? Yeah, no E on Mo though. Perfect. <laughs> um, <laughs> Dom says, not sure how big of an MMA fan you guys are. But do y'all have any interest in doing a UFC stream like the wrestling one? I don't watch UFC, to be honest with you. I don't either. Yeah. Uh, Rumble Rants. We caught up? That's okay. okay. Oh, Jordan. Why doesn't Myron play Rainbow Six Siege? Seems right down his alley. The most recent character added looks a lot like him, actually. Oh, okay. I never liked Rainbow Six. Myron, what are your thoughts on Mary, sorry, Mary Lynch preferred rewards account? And by the way, y'all ain't black. But you did a hairline. Oh, LOL, because he's joking. Merrill Lynch preferred? Merrill Lynch uh, preferred. If that's what I'm thinking about, are you talking about the account that you need $100,000 to put in first? Uh, I don't know if that's the one you're talking about. I think you mean preferred deposit account. I think you, I think you mentioned it. I, I did wow. mention it before, but you need hundred k to put in there. But you get a pretty damn good return rate on that. Like It's like right now I think it's around 4 to 5%. 
Okay. Misi Dula says, hey, one of the problems for young men is lack of a transition or rite of passage. Is this something you think would be worthwhile to talk about? Rites of passage as a transition to manhood. I think most guys should go through sacrifice and, and pain to get to a certain point, uh, for sure. But if you're coddled all the way, then you don't really that ain't happening grow in as a man. Either. But yeah. <laughs> a tuning train says... They got rid of bullying and they got rid of hazing for that specific reason. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have seven years sales and service experience. Currently working at Jaguar Land Rover. Yo, those fuckers, bro. I remember when I was coming up in, uh, in America, I was uh, had my first job. They told me no. You can't get a Range Rover with us. I remember them telling me no specifically. Who, Jaguar? Fuckers. Yeah. Oh, shit. Um, it's fine, though. I, I got one later on. I hope with, with haggling and long-term ownership, there's nothing I haven't seen, good or bad credit included. Okay. Yeah, bro. They told me no. They'll, yeah. You gotta, your job is to find the yes, right? Yep. As my first investment property, should I buy a house with a big land? House is, uh, is dog shit, but potential for subdivision in the future, or buy a newer home, smaller <sighs> land, better rent. In Australia, can't buy duplexes. I'm in Australia. Uh, that comes down to you, bro. Like, do you have the resources in the team to go ahead and, like, knock the house down and build it back up? If you have the resources to do it and you can do it for a good price, then do that. But if you don't, then it might be better for you to go ahead and pick yourself up what we call a turnkey, a house that's ready to go and made. Um, so it really comes down to your skill set, your resources, your ability, how much money you have and how much time you have. Keep in mind, if you're going to go ahead and purchase the property, then knock it down and fix it all, whatever, are you prepared to operate in the red for a few months? Right? A lot of real estate investors aren't able to do that. Like They don't want to operate in the red for a few months and fix the house up. So it really comes down to your certain situation. Uh, Third Eye Profit goes, thank you, Myron. I thought I could only buy the course in Bitcoin because every time, single time I use PayPal or Google, it would give me an error, switch browsers, tried it, and got it. Okay, thank you again. Shout out to you, my friend, and join the crypto. Welcome to join the crypto course. I think you're probably going to be 126 guy in there. Some guys are taking action. Shout out to y'all ninjas. Good guys, job, the crypto bro. course is going to close tonight. They're closing it tonight. Uh, they're keeping it open for us because they know that it's a money Monday and we have y'all um, our nighttime show with you guys. So get in there, man. Don't be a fucking brokey, man. Uh, don't be like these idiots in the chat that are out here paying for shit with cash and debit cards and wondering why they fucking don't have a shitty credit score and they can't <laughs> buy no goddamn assets. Uh, Kevin Wolf goes, hey, Fresh Iron, what credit score so I need to get approved for the N-word card? What? Oh, um... Uh, 400 credit score will get you that. The black number. <laughs> Whatever's below 500. Oh, the black card. Oh, yeah. wait. Oh. No, no. I think it's trolling. Okay. Well, yeah, to get an <laughs> Amex Platinum... Uh, not, not, sorry, the Amex black. black card, you have to get invited and I think you need to spend $100,000 a month. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, Something my, crazy. My friend just got it, but he, he spends 250k a month minimum. Oh, shit. It took him two years, though. Yeah, you got to get invited. You have to qualify, and then, um, and then uh, yeah, I, th I, I, I thought it was 100000 a month. You got to spend They do a background check, everything? They do, a, yeah, yeah. All it's not stuff. easy to get it. It's not. Um, who should apply? We'll go, we'll go one. No, they probably won't give it to us. They'll be like, oh, those misogynists. I have now. <laughs> First time doing it, I had two questions. One, should me as an 18-year-old student still have, also have a credit card? Yes, you should, my friend. I got my first credit card when I was 18. That's you got to build be your credit as early as possible. Be responsible, though. Responsible. Number two, should I have an Australian credit card since I am from Australia or an international different one? Thanks. Um, here's the thing. If you're going to come study in the United States, then, yeah, you probably want a credit card that works in the United States. However, if you're going to stay in Australia, bro, then, yeah, just build your credit score in Australia and you'll be fine. All, uh, pretty much all the first world countries, bro, use Equifax and Experian most of the time uh, and uh, TransUnion, yeah. right? So uh, if you got good credit in one country, it, uh, you know, whether it's an English-speaking country, what we call the five eyes, New Zealand, Canada, United States, Australia, and England, should probably translate over, hopefully. Uh, what else do we got here? That's it? Caught up? Cool. Yeah, all right, guys. On. This thing is setting you a fresh line because they're not uh, vetting applications or vetting. Nigga, they ain't bite, bro. It's common knowledge. They invite. Like, uh, what, what, what are you talking about? What is he, what is he saying? That, that, uh, that's the lie that they don't invite people to the black card. They do. Yeah, they, yeah, they Shit, do. I want one, and they told me they invite only. Yeah. I called them. Yeah, they, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah the black card. Nick, what are you saying, bro? Yeah, it's Bro, look, you can look at some of these credit card YouTubers. Like, they literally say, yeah, I had to get invited. <laughs> like, you get it. You can request it, but then they still have to give you the formal invite and let you like get the card, bro. It's not an easy card to get, bro. It's not. Like I, I heard one story. Like somebody had a black card, and like they, the dude wanted to do like a proposal to his wife. Simp. Anyway, uh, on like a boat or some shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and he said that, yo, I need you to like deliver me some flowers or some shit on a helicopter while I'm out to see what my fiance. And niggas did it. He spent his. They did it with the black card. Damn. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah, nigga, niggas uses black cards to simp, but that's fine.
<laughs> but uh, anyway, guys, I think we got all the lovely ladies here, man. So we're gonna go ahead and do our after hour show here. Yep. Um, anything else? What was that? Nine forty. Nine forty. All right. Cool. Not ten. Hey, the girls are ready, man. Yeah, bro. It's not. It's nine fifteen. Let's go it. then. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go live. All right, Chris. All right, let's go. We'll be back. All right, guys. We'll go. Uh, we'll go nine forty-five, man. Right. We'll, we'll be back in about thirty minutes. Love y'all. Peace. Peace. Nine, 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 nine.